Ronaldo recently said that the Saudi league will become one of the world's best leagues. Get out of here, man. Okay, Ronaldo, I'm not doubting your ball knowledge, but come on. The Saudi league is literally ranked worse than the championship. And the championship is a second division league. But today, we're going to be giving Ronaldo and Al Nasser a chance to prove the level of the Saudi league. Because I'm going to be taking over them for 10 seasons. But here's the twist. We're putting them in the English footballing division. If Ronaldo and Al Nasser can conquer the world's best league, then maybe Ronaldo is right. The Saudi league might be the future. These are the challenges Ronaldo and Al Nasser need to complete. The first one is winning four Premier League titles. That itself is going to be ridiculous because we're putting Al Nasser in the championship first. That's right. We're going to have to first work our way up to the Premier League. The second challenge is to win three Champions Leagues. Thankfully, we do have missed the Champions League in the team. And our final challenge is to have an Al Nasser player win at the Ballon d'Or. But this one, I wish we could turn back time and make Ronaldo young again because you bet he would have won us that Ballon d'Or easily. All right, guys, it's time for season one with Al Nasser. The goal is clear. For the first season, we just need to get to the Premier League first. And to be honest, I think this team is more than good enough to get it done. We got Cristiano Ronaldo himself up top. Sadio Mane in there. Yep, the quality is crazy. But yeah, the right side with a few Saudi League players, it's a bit meh. But Al Nasser are literally one of the world's richest clubs. We've got one billion. The oil money will be flowing as we try and make Al Nasser the world's best club. But remember, we can still only make two signings every season. And we still have to deal with the Wheel of Career Mode. All right, let's see what our challenge is for Season 1. Oh, my days. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Make a player in your squad a wonder kid. I'm pretty sure when we did an Al Nasser takeover last time around, this was the first challenge that popped up. Nah, this is crazy luck. And I think there's only one player we can make a wonder kid in this team. And that's got to be Sadio Mane. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Ah, cheeky boy. Of course, the only player we could make a wonder kid, it just had to be Ronaldo. But yeah, for this season, he's actually got a downgrade because we've made him an 18-year-old and given him his FIFA 04 stats. I can't believe Ronaldo started FIFA with an 80 overall. That's crazy. The wheel is put us in the perfect position. Now, we've got Ronaldo for the entire 10 seasons, mostly, unless we'll have to sell him. But for now, let's bring in a couple of players to upgrade this team. And since money's not an issue, we can literally sign anyone we want. Well, that's not true. Since we're in the championship, we're going to be limited by the age of the players we can sign. Like for now, we can only sign players above the age of 33. But once we get to the Premier League, the age limit goes down to 30. As we start finishing mid-table, it'll go down to 27 and so on. So yeah, unlimited money, but the signings aren't going to be that crazy. We're going to have to think about it. Well, there isn't much to think about our first signing. It's a player Ronaldo has played with before, Luka Modric. He's 37 years old. I know he's not going to be here for a while, but if he can help us get to the Premier League, I think that'll be more than good enough. Can't believe we've just signed a 40-year-old. But yes, we're bringing Ronaldo's Portuguese teammate Pepe into this team. And okay, for the first season, we've probably built the most OP team in championship history. Time to see if we can secure promotion, and we kind of need to so we can start working towards our challenges. And was there ever any doubt? Easy. 99 points, top of the league, promotion is been secured. Bro, since we've made Ronaldo young, he's got his mojo back. 33 goals in the championship. Wait a minute, we've also made a cup final. What is going on? Al Nasser and Ronaldo are coming for world domination at this rate. Are they going to win the cup? Yes, they are. Ah, Ronaldo didn't score, but that's fine. First trophy already in the first season, but we're after the big ones. The FA Cup and all is good, but we need to win Premier Leagues and Champions Leagues. Time to see what we can do in season two. We're now in our second season with Al Nasser. And look at that. Pepe, who we signed last season, is already retired. And Luka Modric, too, is on his last legs. Thankfully, this season, Al Nasser are going to be in the Premier League. And that means the age limit we've got is going down. We can now sign players above the age of 30. That should be really helpful. But here's the catch. If we can finish top 10, the next season, we can sign players above the age of 27. That would open up a completely different world for us. But for that, we got to improve the team. Ah, oh, this season's 695 million. 
money's not an issue, the wheel is. All right, come on, help us out a little bit here. Oil wells are under maintenance. Your transfer budget is zero this season. No, this was the season we needed to make signings. Ah, oh, this could end up getting us relegated. How can oil wells be under maintenance, man? We've just been bamboozled here. Ronaldo, you're gonna have to carry this team in the prep. Okay, that's a relief. End of the season and we don't end up getting relegated. Honestly, that was my biggest worry. But I think Ronaldo cooked for us. He's gone up to an 88 overall, 24 goals as well. But next season, man, we need to bring in some better players and build the team around him. Because look at our objectives. Five Premier League titles, three Champions Leagues. We need to start progressing as a team. Season three now with Al Nasser and we need to start making steps forward. Top 10 finish, minimum. Because we need to be able to sign under 30 players because this season we're still limited by that rule. We can only sign players above the age of 30. Please, Wheel of Kuremo, let me use this money. Come on, man. Last season's challenge was brutal. We need something to help us out. <sighs> I'm not sure this is going to help us out. You can only sign players outside the top five leagues. Imagine having a billion and not being able to sign a Premier League player, a La Liga player. Taking Al Nasser to the top is going to be tricky. I think we got to be hunting in the Portuguese league because Porto and Benfica should have some great players. But don't forget, they still need to be 30 plus year olds. Well, I did find one player from Porto and it's Fabio Cardoso. We need a center back. He's Portuguese as well. I mean, there aren't many options. And so we've snapped him up. This does improve the team, but not good enough to make us compete in the Premier League. I'm so glad we already have players like Laporte, Brozovic, Mane. They're kind of carrying us right now. Oh, what we do need though is a new goalkeeper. Maybe the Turkish League might have some good goalkeepers. Oh, and this is perfect. Dominic Livakovic, 84 rated. The Turkish League is definitely not among the top five leagues. We can make this happen. And there you go. We've got ourselves a proper goalkeeper. The wheel definitely made life more difficult, but I think we've done a good job. But is it good enough to get top 10? We kind of need it to start progressing and make better signings. Okay, straight up, we're off to a good start. We're not getting relegated. Please just be in the top 10. And yes, we're in the top 10. How far have we gone though? Oh my days, fifth in the Premier League. And that means we literally skip an age tier. Not only can we sign players above the age of 27 for next season, but we can instead sign players above the age of 25. Now that's going to be game changing to try and get this Al Nasser team to the Premier League title. And look at Ronaldo leading from the front. He's 90 rated now. If we get him some good teammates, I don't see why we can't win the league. Well, it kind of depends on the wheel. So far, it's given us really bad challenges except for the first season. I'm hoping it'll be something better now. Oh, we get a bonus player. Steal a player from Saudi-owned club Newcastle. Now, that's something that's really helpful. Okay, looking at our team for season four, defense is still where we need a ton of improvements. Okay, let's see if there's someone crazy we can steal from Newcastle, but still, he needs to be 25 years old and more. We've got Anthony. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to steal him. Oh, Sven Botman would actually be crazy. Bruno Guimaraes too, but I think we're more in need of a defender. I'm looking at the players, boys, and I think it's, it's an obvious one. It's got to be Sven Botman. Well, thank you, Newcastle. This is going to be a big help. Getting Sven Botman into the team straight up. That's huge. Okay, we still get a couple more signings. And I'll look at Sadio Mane. He's going to retire soon. Let's get someone to replace him. And I think Chiesa would be a really really good option. 28 years old. It counts. And I think he's played with Ronaldo before. And so it's done. We've got Federico Chiesa joining Al Nasser. But our next signing is about to be the biggest one yet. That's right. Trent Alexander-Arnold. We've managed to bring him to Al Nasser. He's 27 years old in game. And we've basically got unlimited funds. So I don't see any reason why we shouldn't sign a player like him. Our team is so much better now. It's not just a bunch of old players. We've got a few young players like Botman and Trent in there too. And let's see if we can push into the top four this season, because that'll mean we can sign players above the age of 23. But you know what, guys? I'm looking at my team, and I feel we've got a chance to maybe even win the Premier League. Okay, so we don't end up winning the league, but that's not too bad. It was only a point between us and Man United. We do end up finishing third, which means our signings for next season are gonna be really good. Also, we got our first taste of European football, but Ooh. that didn't end too well. Oh, but this is actually ridiculous. Cristiano Ronaldo. Remember 
at the start of the video when I said if Ronaldo could turn back time, he'd probably be the one to win us a Ballon d'Or. I think he's gonna do it. Still needs to win maybe the Champions League or the Premier League to make that happen. Okay, guys, it just hit me. We're in season five and we haven't won the Premier League yet. And if you remember our challenges, we need to win five Premier League titles. It's about time we start winning at least one. Truth is, guys, we've got the team and this season, we can sign players above the age of 23. That'll give us a big pool of players to sign and improve the team. We need a left back, probably midfielders, but it all kind of depends if the wheel is willing to help us out. It's been a bit iffy, but this time it does help us out massively. Make a random first team player 99 rated. I'm putting this entire team onto this wheel and now let's see which player is going to get to a 99 overall. Oh, is it going to be Ronaldo? No, it isn't. It's going to be our goalkeeper. That's the best possible outcome. Our goalkeeper is literally cracked 99 overall. Now, if we can just fill in the gaps and improve that midfield and defense a little bit, I don't see why we can't win the Premier League. Since we can start signing players above the age of 23, it's time to make that count. And Alejandro Balde is literally 23 years old right now. And I don't think we can make a better signing than this. But I'm not done yet. We're also signing Romeo Lavia for the CDM position. Again, he's 23 years old. We need some youngsters in the team. Now this team is looking like a potential title winning side. I'm just hoping having a 99 rated keeper is going to be enough to get us the title. We've made it to the end of the season and looking at Ronaldo's rating, it's 96 and it does give me a lot of hope. Oh, and he conquered the Premier League to 35 goals. But is it going to be enough to give us the Premier League title? Our first one and yes it is. Is Al Nasser at the top of the Premier League, our first Prem title. We still need four more, but this is a brilliant start. Also, this was our first experience in the Champions League, and Arsenal knocked us out. That was a bit unlucky, but I think now we need to be on the track to just build this team up to be even better to start winning all the trophies. Let's first see what challenge we've got for season six. Oh, this is the worst one. You can only sign players from Division Two leagues and below. I was really hoping hoping this season we could bring in a new cam, a new right midfielder, because those are places we're really lacking. But can we find anyone good in the championship? Wait a minute, Aston Villa got relegated. Surely they've got some decent players. Oh, and they do have a very decent cam in Sergio Arribas. And by the way, since we won the Premier League, all limitations and rating are gone. We can now start signing anyone we want. Of course, we still got to follow the wheel. But right now, the state we're in, I think Sergio Arribas for the cam position can't go wrong. Everton were all to another club that got relegated. And that's perfect. They've got Samuel Lino. He can play right mid for us. The wheel definitely made things difficult for us, but I think we signed a couple of really good players. And I really want to go back to back in the Premier League this season. Before that though, Ballon d'Or ceremony. Wait, huh? no cutscene, but he still won it. Ronaldo wins the Ballon d'Or. I told you we make him young and he's going to do everything for us. That's by the way, our first challenge that we've completed. End of the season. Let's also now make more progress towards our Premier League titles, but what? Second? I can't believe this. We've legit got a super Al Nasser team. Yeah, we may be lacking in a few departments, but we've got a 99 rated keeper. Ronaldo, who's just scored 40 goals. How did we not win it? Also in the Champions League, we got knocked out in the semi-finals. If I'm not wrong, to complete our Premier League challenge, we now need to win the Prem every single season. All right, Wheel, playtime is over. I need a bit of help. And let's go. You can make three transfers this season. That is something we needed. Oh, it feels good to have a billion in the bank. Now, although we can make three signings, they need to be above the age of 23 because last season we didn't win the league and that's what we need to do to get rid of the age rule. To be honest, I don't think age might be that big of a factor now because look at Pedri. He's one of the younger players on the game and he's 26 years old. Release clause of 200 million? No problemo. We're paying it. It's time to get serious. We're signing Pedri. But guys, we're not done yet. Just brought in Jusko Guardiol. We're literally building the Arabian super team. We've still got one more signing left thanks to the wheel, and I think we need to go for a better camp. And Arda Gule would be perfect. He's one player I don't think I've signed yet on career mode, but look at him, 88 rated at the age of 24. We're definitely snapping him up. All right, guys, if we don't win the Premier League now with this team, there's something wrong. We're getting through the season, and while we wait, I'd really appreciate if you guys could take a moment and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 2 million subscribers by the end of the year. I know it sounds 
sounds ridiculous, but with a bit of help from you guys, it might actually happen. So yeah, please subscribe. End of the season, and yes indeed, the Premier League is back with Al Nasser. But we seemingly can't figure out a way to win the Champions League. Our team is absolutely ridiculous. But look at our challenges. We've got three seasons left. We still need to win three Premier League titles and also three Champions Leagues. We need to go perfect in every season from now. Let's first see if the wheel's gonna help us for season eight. No, it isn't. Sign only Saudi League players. How does this help at all? This is basically as good as a transfer ban. I mean, the Saudi League still have Malcolm. What am I seeing? A 90 rated Frenchman, centre forward Simon Petit. What's he doing in the desert? I'm pretty sure that's Benzema's regen. I mean, we're definitely signing him up, but now nah, that's a crazy player for us to just get from Saudi Arabia. Okay, where's he gonna play? Certainly not taking Ronaldo's spot or even Arda Gulle. Okay, we've converted him to a right winger and that's more like it. Somehow, even this season, we've improved our team. But the pressure's on. We literally need to be perfect in both the Premier League and the Champions League. And looks like we've won the Premier League this season. Ronaldo's chilling beside it. That's our third Premier League title now. What about the Champions League? If we lose, that's the challenge done. We've topped our group and with Madrid in it. That's a good sign. Threw in the round of 16. Threw in the quarterfinals. Threw in the semifinals. First Champions League final for us. Come on, man. Our team is absolutely cracked, but is Petit injured? No! That's a real bummer, but we still cannot afford to lose. We need to win every Champions League from now on, and we do get this one. Ronaldo missed the Champions League, scoring the winner. We've got two seasons now to go, and we need to win the double in both seasons. Come on, Real, don't let me down now. You can only sign players from the same club. Ooh, this is a tricky one. This means if we want to sign a player from Man City, we can only make other signings from that club as well. Talking about signings, what do we actually need right now? Our defense and goalkeeper position sorted. The midfield is pretty sorted too, and I'm sure Petit will recover from his injury. We could do with a better left midfielder. Probably a bit of squad depth. And actually, signing a couple of players from Man City could help us win the Premier League title. And you can't go wrong with Phil Foden. Foden's actually still 91 rated, so I think it's a top class signing. But now even our other signing needs to be from City. And actually, Piero Hincapie, that doesn't sound so bad. All right, we've got Hincapie on the bench and Phil Foden in the starting 11. We're getting through the season. We need to do the double once again if we want to complete all the challenges. Let's go by a massive margin. We've got our fourth Premier League trophy. And yes, we're in the Champions League final. Look at Ronaldo. He's 97 rated. Just look at our team. There's no way we're losing this. We need to keep winning and we do keep winning. Champions League number two in the bag. We're heading now to the final season where this team needs to win the double again. And if we do it, Saudi Arabia have officially conquered England. Guys, for the final season, our team is absolutely cracked. We don't really need any signings. All we need is the wheel to not ruin everything. Well, there's only one challenge left. Al Nasser have committed FFP fraud. Sell 200 million worth of players. This time, I can't even complain about the FFP challenge because we've spent God knows how much. Oh man, we need to win the Premier League and the Champions League this season. But instead of signing new players, we're going to have to figure out how to generate 200 million of player sales. I think some players are going to be sacrificed and it's not Ronaldo, that's for sure. Simon Petit. I think it might be him. I really think the Benzema regen might just save us in this challenge. Because we've got Samuel Lino in the team and I guess I can use him as our main right winger. But let's see how much we can generate through his sale. Okay, I've already started selling a few players. First one is Sergio Arribas. We got 29 million for him. Nothing crazy, but this means that we can sell the Benzema region at a good price and still be fine. And there you go. It's Arsenal that's coming in with the offer. 193 million. We'll sell him. It completes the challenge. Hopefully by selling him to Arsenal, they don't end up becoming Premier League winners because that would be just brutal. But that's the team that needs to win us the Champions League and the Premier League this season. Ronaldo, we're trusting you to three-peat again. End of the final season. We need to win our fifth Premier League. Can Ronaldo and Al Nasser do it? Yes, they can. Premier League number five. And also the Champions League final. We win this. We've completed all of our challenges. Look at the seasons Ronaldo has been having. It was a cheat code making him a wonder kid once again. Just look at the team we've built, guys. It's too good to not win this Champions League final. Let's get it 
done. And yes, indeed, Ronaldo just bagged a hat trick. Are you kidding me? In the Champions League. And in 10 seasons, we've completed all of our challenges. Had a bit of help from the oil money, as well as the wheel. But we've made Al Nasser the best club in the world. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, why not watch me become the world's best player? That was one of my best ever videos. Click here to watch that.